This year, the old wolf seems to have lost his teeth. What kind of food makes you cry in your mouth? The bunny who passed by first with an umbrella in his hand and was very haughty, didn't even bother the wolf. Friends are made to behave like that. Hey, who are you, rabbit? You've raised your head too high, says the wolf with a smile. The bunny pretends to be mad. In his hand he was holding a key full of carrots. I want to play owls because I miss him so much, says the wolf again. Another day, the wolf answered the bunny in a quiet voice. He hung the umbrella on the branch and entered his den and taught him to sleep. The wolf slowly approaches the rabbit's den. Oh yes, this reindeer was fast asleep, you won't know about me. I will wake him up. Seeing the rabbit first, we are one with zero. But it was not played, the wolf started to rub his eyes. The rabbit that is a permanent resident of the forest knows well the hollows of the old chestnut tree that look like two eyes. He quickly got out and entered the other side of the hollow, while the wolf kept his eyes closed behind a beech tree. One by one we became, a oh wolf, I see you and you don't see, now let's go. Oh yes, this old chestnut has two hollows like two eyes. You tricked me, you rabbit, you and all the bunnies are kept cool. The bunny started to laugh louder. The wolf then, out of anger, began to bite the trunk of the chestnut tree until it finally passed out from the pain and suffering. I was perplexed a couple of times, but mostly from hunger, it cracked on the spot. Just and just tears began to flow from the pain. The rabbit poked its head out of the burrow. When he heard that the chestnut tree was running, he went outside and began to collect healing flowers to make an ointment for the wounds that he caused the wolf. The old chestnut, in a sign of hopelessness, closed one of his eyes.